Hello. Look at this. What's that you may say? Well, let me tell you. This is an AI powered smart 3D printer. And I've been sent it by Coconi. Does it say their name there? No, it doesn't. Coconi, there you go. <clears throat> to have a little play and have a little review. Um, what does it say here on here? So, upgraded speed, silent printing, three color options. That's in the design of the machine itself. Uh, compact design, smart app control, remote monitoring, exclusive model gallery, safe design. Now it says on the other side, I believe, plug, print and play. Is it as easy as it says? Well, I will tell you. First of all, we need to get it out of the box. So let's have a look. Let's pop the box down there. Now the box isn't particularly heavy. So it's not a heavy piece of kit, I will say, because I'm not very strong. Um, but as you will see here from, it's not loads and loads of packaging. Look at that. There we go. So in the box also is a pair of large tweezers. Uh, there's an instruction manual and there is uh, a few other bits and bobs that go with it as well as a power cable, which plugs in the back. Um, so this is obviously the white one. It comes in a couple of other colors, as it says. I think it shows us on the box that you can also get it in an orangey color or a greeny color. Doesn't take up lots of room, easy to pop away once you've used it. And this is a little door on the front. There we go, there's the door on the front. And there's your 3D printer. That's the printing base. So when it starts printing, it prints on here and builds its way up. So I'm gonna have a little play. I've never had a 3D printer before. So I'm gonna have a little play. I'm gonna find out whether it's as easy as plug, play and print. And I'll let you know. Hey, I'm well, we can definitely see something now. It's building, but what is it building? So, I've had a play. Is it as easy as plug, play, and print? Is the question. Um, relatively shall I say, relatively. Okay, so it's flashing at the moment because I've just turned the power back on after bringing it down here, after little having a little play and working it all out. So the great thing that comes uh, about this is it comes with an app. So you can go to the App Store or the Google Play and download the Coconi Creative Hub app. Um, you go through a small process of connecting to your 3D printer and you do that via Bluetooth and also through your local Wi-Fi. It's quite a simple process. Um, I did mess up at one point and then it was sending me around in a bit of a loop because I wasn't connecting my Bluetooth properly. So just make sure that you follow the steps. And if for some reason you come out of the step method, just make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and connected to your Coconi printer before trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. But it is, simple to connect up and to run that app. Once you are connected, you have some guides that you can go to and you also have this little lovely orange button saying uh, create and you then have a number of different options whereby you can choose what you wanna make. I chose from the 3D model gallery um, and it has some pre-designed models there that you can just go ahead and print. So if you don't wanna design anything new yourself, then you can just print something from there. One of the things I wasn't aware of, <clears throat> I'm not one of these people that likes to read lots of instructions, to be fair. One of the things I wasn't aware of is I automatically assumed that the size of these models were set to the printer, which was incorrect. So my very first thing that I tried to print was a lucky salamander. There he is. And he's great, only I didn't resize him and therefore the top of his head got chopped off. Uh, my fault completely because I didn't, like I said, I didn't realize because I didn't read properly about the sizing um, within there. So that's as much of him that could print. 
he should have more of a domed head than that. So back to the drawing board and we tried again. Now when these do print, um, it uses filament, which is all one colour. But if you go to the Kokoni website, you can get paint pens to colour these in if you want a variety of different colours or you can get a different colour filament. But the white, I think, is a good one if you then want to colour in, if you want to make different things, different colours. Um, the filament builds up. So there are elements of your design that will then need to be picked away or um, scraped away. <clears throat> and you might need something quite sharp um, or sturdy to do that. So he had quite a lot of filament building up between his uh, gills and his feet, which had to be cut away. So after I made that one too big, I decided then to make a little sitting down shark because why wouldn't you make a sitting down shark? Now this one came out perfect and I could probably go a bit bigger with this one, but I just didn't have a clue what to choose. Um, and he's come out really, really well. Uh, as you'll see this side, I've pulled the filament away underneath his fin. This side I haven't done yet, so you can get to see how it builds up. So I just need to get that pulled away. That side isn't pulling away very easy, so I'm gonna to have to get something sharp, I think, to, to do it, I don't, either, I don't wanna break him, so that's that. But <clears throat> all in all, once I'd got through the mistake I made of getting it all set up, making the mistake of thinking that was gonna be the right size, it does give you the sizes and the dimensions when you go into the models. I just didn't check it properly. Uh, I made my little shark and he came out great. Uh, the other thing that you need to be mindful of is within the box, and I didn't realize what it was, came a small piece of sticky film that needs to go on the base plate. Uh, because I also made a couple of mistakes where I went to print things and the filament wasn't sticking to the base plate. So, the filament was just going everywhere and not creating my model. Um, so if you don't have a piece of sticky anything, or like me, have misplaced it because you didn't know what it was, um, something like sticky back plastic or double-sided sticky tape, that type of thing, you can put that on the base plate to make sure that your model sticks firm and doesn't move around while it's printing. So that was my other error. I'm sure it was all in the instructions. Like I said, when things say plug, play and print. I take that as gospel. I don't really read instructions. So uh, my bad. But as a li little uh, nifty 3D printer, I think it's really good. And like I said, nice and compact, easy to use once you know what you're doing. Um, you can get some pens, like I said, to colour in any of the models. And there is a good variety of models on the app that you can choose from. Alternatively, it does actually also give you the uh, instructions on how you can make your own, but there is quite a lot of different things that you can choose from anyway. So if you fancy having a go with a 3D printer, be mindful of the fact that if you think with the top of his head off, that's the size of something you can make height-wise. So if you want anything bigger than that, you're gonna have to go for a different 3D printer. But if you're looking for small models, small toys, that kind of thing, then this is a great little printer to go for. All the details are in the description down below. Get one, give it a go, bit of fun.